Hayley, um, reflections on the season. Pleased or disappointed? Um, disappointed. It's kind of bittersweet. Obviously, I was absolutely thrilled to be selected, as anyone would, um, as that was my aim for the beginning of the season. So I was happy with that. But obviously, disappointed how it ended. Obviously, um, it didn't quite go to plan, and obviously, I was disqualified. Um, but the race itself was very messy and um, I didn't execute it as well as I wanted to, so yeah, it's disappointing. So, so take us through that. When you when you were warming up, etc., were, were you feeling okay? Yeah, I was really excited, to be honest, and um, surprisingly I wasn't nervous. I was just, it just kind of felt right, so I just felt really excited to be there. But um, I think it was, you know, I just didn't, I just, I didn't maximise the opportunities that I had so I didn't I think I just maybe I was slightly slightly unfit going into it which might explain why I kind of faded at the last 150 but um yeah it was just really messy it just wasn't wasn't a good day at the office I'm afraid and when did you feel this isn't going to be a great race um I was I was really confident for the first 200 just feeling quite relaxed and it was kind of when at the 150 I kind of expected a, a push, uh, another gear, and it just, just didn't didn't happen and obviously everyone comes by you and you kind of think, oh, this, you know, it's just it's not there, so... When was the last time you had a race like that? Um, not for a while really. I Normally I'd say like the last 200 is probably one of the strongest, um, you know, I'm quite a strong finisher, but... Um, Ah uh, yeah, not for a while. It's it's, dif it's difficult, but um, yeah, it's just something that happened. So we put that race in a little box for now. Yes. What was your so what would be race wise your your most satisfying performance of the season? Um, probably at the British Championships where I came third and obviously ran my PB. That was there were still problems technically. I still got the wrong leg on certain hurdles and I started a little bit, but it was promising the fact that I ran that quickly with with mistakes in it so that's that was probably one of the highlights and to run with like Ailey Child and all the top British people was yeah it was amazing. So you're looking at Ailey Child with admiration and probably a little bit of envy what is what is um apart from running fast what is she do you looking at her and I think I may have asked you this question before but mm. what is she doing right now and you could pinpoint saying I'm not doing that? Um I would uh I would just say that she's someone that works a lot because obviously in her younger years she wasn't as good or well recognised as sort of Perry and Meg and other people. She wasn't really on the radar when she was younger and the fact that she's kept at it and she's worked and she's worked and now she's probably one of the technical and more consistent athletes of, of anyone which I think is why I admire her because she's still putting in the effort and She's peaking at the right moments, isn't she, really? She knew, getting medals now. Yeah. Do people say that it's almost like a, it's not an insult, but a compliment, that you're far from the finished product? And do, you, do you see yourself as far from the finished product? Yeah, I think there's a lot of things that can be improved, which I see as a promising sign. The fact that I've, I, you know, I've got this far and I've made it to Commonwealth, and I still think there's so much to work on and so much to give. So I'm really excited about the seasons coming. Because we have to remember it's, it's, it's Hayley McLean's senior international athlete, don't we? You know, mm. we talked of all about that. So we're here in September, uh, autumn approaching. Plans for the winter? Um, just to work extra hard, obviously, because winter's where you put all your groundwork in and your conditioning. So I'm planning to really uh, work on my conditioning. I think that's a, an area that um, I'm a bit weaker at, so just to tone up a little bit, condition, um, and stay injury free and fit, which obviously is the main thing. And so what's on the horizon, what are the ambitions in, for 2015? Um, well there's the under 23 European Championships, which I would love to go there and win a medal, hopefully I'd like to win it really, if I'm, if I'm honest, that's probably the aim, so I'll strive towards that. Is there a lot of world championships, but is that a little bit above at the moment? Yeah, I think for the moment I kind of, I want to stick to my championships. I feel a little bit more at home. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to, because I think it's about winning titles and medals and things like that. So I think I'll just stick to my, my age groups. Hayley, thank you very much.